This tutorial will show you how to edit your video clips into a movie you can be proud of. It will cover the basics of adding files, editing them, and adding effects and sound to your videos before saving them. Let's take a look at the program first. The Home tab has everything you need to put a movie together. The Clips, Sequence, and Audio tabs contain some of the same tools as the Home tab, but are designed for more advanced users who need dedicated space for the different steps of their movie making workflow. For this tutorial, we will stay on the Home tab. Click the Add File icon on the toolbar. Browse to any video, audio, or image file, select it, and click Open. The file will be added to the associated bin. There are bins for each type of clip, or you can create your own to help you stay organized. To add your clips to the sequence, select the clip and click the green arrow in the bin toolbar. You can also drag and drop your clips onto the sequence. Be careful when you do this, because placing one clip over another will delete the portion of the clip that is covered. To create a layering effect, add the new clip to a new track by dragging and dropping the clip in the light gray area above the existing video track to create a new track. This is a useful trick to keep in mind when adding captions to your videos. You can adjust where a clip starts and stops, which is called setting the in and out points. To do this, select the clip in its bin so it appears in the clip preview pane to the right of the bins. You can play the file or drag the red cursor to the point you want the file to start, then click the red flag to set the in point, where you want the clip to start in the movie. Do the same to set the out point with the blue flag. Once your in and out points are set, click the green arrow to add the clip to the sequence. When clips are on the sequence, you can split them into pieces and move the pieces around. To do this, select a clip on the sequence. Place the red cursor at the split point by dragging the marker on the timeline above the tracks. Then. Click the scissors icon under the sequence preview window to split the clip in two. Now you can drag the sections around independently from each other or delete them from the sequence. To add color effects or animated effects to your clips, select a clip and click the effects button in the toolbar. This opens the video effects window where you can select, adjust, and preview the effects you add to your clips. Select an effect from the drop menu at the top of the window, then click Add to add it to the applied effects list. If the effect has parameters you can control, make adjustments and see the changes appear in the preview window at the right. When you are happy with the effects you have applied, close the window. All your effects will be saved, and you can come back and adjust them later if needed. To adjust the speed of your clip, Select the clip in the sequence, then right-click it with your mouse. Select Change Clip Speed, and the Speed Change dialog will appear. To speed up the video, change the value of the speed percentage. Setting it at 100% plays the video at normal speed. Slow it down to half speed by setting it at 50%, or double the speed by setting it to 200%. And for fun, check the reverse checkbox to play your video backward. To add text for captions, title screens, or credits, click the Add Text button on the toolbar. This opens the New Text Clip window. Enter a unique name for your text clip. This will be the title that appears in the clip's bin. Then enter the text that you want to display into the larger text field. Click the Add button to create the text clip. The text clip will be added to your images bin by default, and you'll see it in the Clip Preview pane. The Clip Preview pane is where you change the text style. Click the large T button to open the Text Attributes window. From here you can make changes to the font, style, color, size, alignment, and set a scrolling pattern. Any changes you make are shown in the Clip Preview pane. Click Apply when you are happy with how the text looks. Now all that remains is to place the text clip in the sequence. You can drag and drop it from the bin to the sequence, or from the Clip Preview pane. Click the green arrow button to move the clip into the sequence, then position the clip on the sequence. Remember, if you're adding a text caption, you'll want to add the text to a different track than the video you want it to appear with. To select a transition between tracks, 
select the clip you want to transition out of and click the transition icon on the toolbar. The most common transition types are shown in the first menu, and more can be found by hovering over the More Transitions option. Select the desired transition, enter the duration the transition should last, and click OK. There are several ways to add audio to your movie. You can import songs and create a soundtrack, record narration, or add sounds from the included sound effect library. Import songs the same way you import video clips. Click the Add Files button, browse to the music file and select it. Then, from the Audio Files bin, drag and drop the music clip onto the gray space in the sequence to create a new track for it. To record a narration, click the Clip menu, click Record, and select Narrate. This will open a window containing all the clips you have edited up to this point so that you can time your narration along with the video. To begin recording, click the Record button. When you click Stop, the narration window will stay open, but the recorded audio will be added to the audio file bin. You can record and stop as many times as you need. When you're finished, close the window. To add sound from the sound effect library, click the Effects menu, click Audio Effects, and select NCH Sound Library. From the sound effects window, you can preview any sound, then click Download to acquire the sound and to place it in the audio file bin. When you are finished with your editing session, you have two options. If you still have work to do on the video, you can save your project and all the file paths it contains so you can come back to it later. Do this by clicking on the File menu and select Save Project File As. Choose a location to save your project in and click Save. Your project will be saved as a video pad file with the extension VPJ. This file isn't a movie file you can view in a player, just a collection of all the work you've done up to this point. When you're ready to save your completed movie, click the Save Video button in the toolbar. The Video Output Setup window that appears gives you several options for saving your finalized movie. Start by selecting how you want to save your movie. If you want to burn a DVD, select the Disk option. If you want to upload your video to YouTube, select the Upload option. Then, select the appropriate save options associated with the format and click Create to save, burn, or upload your movie. Thanks again for choosing VideoPad from NCH Software. We hope you'll check out our other video tutorials. You can also view more video-related software from NCH by clicking the address shown on your screen.